Hello viewers, welcome to International Talks. Today we are going to talk about Afghanistan. The recent issues in this country are not going well. The United States, from the strategic point of view, have lost its ground in the country. And now it is a disaster because tens of thousands of people are seeking the way out of Kabul. So why this happened? What is the main reason of such a failure of US foreign policy in Afghanistan. We are going to cover all the main issues about uh, this country and the US foreign policy and the main reasons why it was a failure. During Trump's administration, US agreed to fully withdraw its forces from Afghanistan by May 1st, 2021. However, Biden's administration prolonged this process and at the end of the day, it came out as a disaster because more than 80,000 people need a swift evacuation from Kabul. So why was it a disaster? Uh, the main reason is that uh, this decision was mainly political. The security measures were disregarded by the top administration of the United States. Now, we know that uh, militaries and uh, uh, within the intelligence they have been providing the information that full withdrawal of the United States and uh, basically rapid withdrawal of the United States forces from Afghanistan would cause uh, tremendous security issues. And uh, top generals were uh, actually warning the US administration about the security issues. And they were sure that Taliban would take over very swiftly in a matter of uh, weeks after US would withdraw its forces. However, despite these warnings, US administration continued its uh, foreign policy toward Afghanistan and uh, Biden even defended his uh, decision to withdraw uh, the forces. And as we know, the situation is now pretty much critical and the Taliban controls almost all of the country. The next question is uh, very interesting. Why United States was not able to basically maintain the democratic regime in Afghanistan. Now, the answer is that, firstly, it was not uh, the main reason why the United States uh, invaded Afghanistan in 2001. The main issue was the security and they were trying to get rid of the radical uh, groups, uh, mainly Al-Qaeda, and it was the primary reason why the United States got involved in this uh, conflict. Also, we should take into account the internal politics of Afghanistan. As we know, it is mainly consists of uh, tribes, uh, ethnic groups and sub-ethnic groups, uh, more than a dozen of them, and different groups are not going uh, to be in good terms with uh, each other and they are pretty much hostile with each other and uh, at the end of the day, this is the main reason why there is no uh, Afghani internal politics as we know uh, in uh, democratic societies in the West. Let's talk about the security issues in Afghanistan. Why Taliban was so effective in taking over in a matter of weeks over the whole country? The main reason why Afghanistan National Army and Afghanistan National Police failed is because of the tribalism. As we've already mentioned, dozens of ethnic and sub-ethnic groups are just as hostile toward each other uh, as toward the United States or Taliban. They don't care about the security of the whole country. They care about the security of their uh, region, province or the village. So they are not involved in the internal politics of Afghanistan. What they care about is uh, only themselves. And at the end of the day, they just switched sides very swiftly from United States to uh, Taliban uh, who uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, told them that uh, their security would be ensured in case of Taliban uh, taking over uh, their uh, province. And it is uh, very uh, hard as Biden mentioned and I agree to this point that uh, when the core of the population is not involved in the security and internal politics of the country, it is very hard for the uh, external forces uh, to force them to uh, build a democracy for them. Another very important aspect of security is that United States, along with the Afghanistan's government, 
was pretty much forced uh, to build a local police system, which consisted of primarily the locals who were familiar with the uh, local uh, background of people, and they were supposed to help the national army and the national police. However, this system uh, turned out to be very shaky because these uh, locals uh, just very swiftly were changing sides. And at the end of the day, uh, it uh, proved as the uh, very unsustainable uh, system and uh, Taliban's were uh, basically very effective in just uh, agreeing with the uh, local uh, leaders, uh, tribe uh, leaders, uh, to just giving up uh, the uh, territories. And uh, US was just uh, incapable of stopping it because they were withdrawing and Afghanistan's National Army was not ready uh, for uh, such a radical uh, switch up. As we've already established uh, the system, the security aspect of the system was very shaky and basically it was very easy for any other group to bribe or intimidate uh, the uh, locals who were uh, hostile to other tribe members. Now, uh, from the uh, political point of view, the Ashraf Ghani, president who fled uh, the uh, country, was just the president of uh, two million people, because this is the amount of people who voted uh, in the presidential elections in 2019. In a country of 38 million people, uh, this is a clear indicate of that uh, majority of uh, people of Afghanistan just don't care about the politics and uh, you cannot blame uh, these people because uh, over 40% of them are just uh, illiterate and it makes uh, harder to build a democracy in a country uh, where uh, no people is participating in the building process. However, uh, the fight for Afghanistan is not over. Uh, Amrullah Saleh, the first uh, vice president in the uh, Ashraf Ghani's government, uh, is basically uh, building uh, forces uh, within the Northern Alliance. This is the alliance that was uh, formed in the 1990s, uh, basically anti-Taliban anti alliance. And uh, he is uh, leading uh, these forces and uh, during uh, the past week we uh, know the news that uh, they were able to recapture some of the provinces in the north of the country. The next problem with it is that will the regional and international powers help people like Amrullah Saleh? Because this is the pretty much the only anti-Taliban power on the uh, ground and as we know Russia and China pretty much backed uh, Taliban with uh, a green light and uh, they are not going to uh, do anything against Taliban because uh, they don't care about the democratic regime uh, in Afghanistan. To summarize our talk, we have covered security and uh, political issues of Afghanistan and uh, from the security perspective, ANA and National Police was not effective against Taliban because they are consisting of uh, tribes which don't care about the uh, country's overall uh, security. They care about their village and province and uh, the problem also with it was that the local police was also ineffective in uh, targeting uh, uh, radicals because they were also uh, for their tribes, not for Afghanistan. And at the end of the day, from security and political point of view, it was unfeasible to maintain the democracy and security stability uh, in Afghanistan. I hope this video was uh, interesting and if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the upcoming updates. Until next time.